Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to verify the email address of the user that created the account. So this is the one of the feature that I, that I wanted to implement in this particular application. So whenever user create the new account, what we'll do is we will send the verification email to the that particular email used by the user to create the account and user can log into their Gmail account and they can click on the email and verify that particular email. Okay. So in that way, we can uh, make sure that user use the real address to create the new account. So if the email is not verified, maybe we can limit the services that is available to the particular user, or maybe we'll display some error message, or maybe we'll display some, you know, warning to the user saying that you must, you must verify your email address. Okay. So let's go ahead and implement this feature into this application. So I have my Android Studio open here. And first, what I want to do is I want to log out from here. And if you remember, I have created the account using the fake email address. So to verify the email address, what I want to do is I want to create new account with the real email address. Okay. So let me go here and create new account. I'm going to give the name as small academy. And if you don't know what is a small academy, this is my channel. Okay. YouTube channel. You can go and subscribe to this where I'll upload more videos like this, but that's okay. Let's go and use a real email address. And I'm not sure if this one is correct or not. So I'm going to go here and check Academy small and that is seven. Okay. So let me add seven here and now I'm going to give the password as one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now click on register and it says the password do not match. So let me check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Click on register data is validated and account is created. Now let me go here and check from the console that if we have the registered account here or not. So let me go to the sample app, go to the authentication and in the user, we should see the new account. Yes. Now, currently we have not implemented the features to send the verification email address. So we have to do that first. Okay. So what I want to do is here, I want to display some message saying that email, your email is not verified verify now. Okay. I'll give that option there. And whenever user tap on the verify now button, we will send the verification email. And once the user verified the email address, we will hide this uh, message here. So let's go into the Android studio and add that uh, message thing. Okay. In our activity main.xml, let's add one text view here. Okay. So this is a text view. Let me fix the constraint and I'm going to give 8 dp on the all the side and make it match constraint. And I want to, I want this to come in the center. So email address. So this is the message I want to display to the user. Let me change and make it bold. Okay. And just after that, we will add one button that will let the user verify the address. Okay. So, so whenever user tap on this verify button here, so let me change that name. Okay. So whenever they tap on this button, we will send the verification uh, email to that particular email address. Okay. So now I want to give ID to this button. So verify email button is the ID for this button. And I will, I also want to give the ID for this text view as well, because we need to hide that text view whenever the email is verified. Okay. So Verify email message is the ID for this. Okay. Now let's go to the main activity here and create the variables that we need. So one is text view variable text view verify message. And another one is button 
for verify email okay let me uh bind the email uh, bind the variables with the xml resources so verify message equals to find view by id r dot id dot uh, verify message okay now button verify email button okay let me just keep button here button find view by id r dot id verify email button okay now here first we will check if the email is already verified or not okay so if the email is not already verified we will display that message and the button but if the email is already verified then there is no point of displaying that message right so to check the email is verified or not we need the firebase authentication first so let me get that by creating the instance of firebase auth okay now let me instantiate that here Firebase or dot get instance, okay. And now what I can do is I can use if else condition here by getting the current user that is currently logged in user. I can check is email verified or not, okay. So if this condition is failed, that means if email is not verified, that's why I'm adding uh, not uh, symbol there, okay. If the email is not verified, we are going to display the Mm, verify message and verify email button so initially what we're going to do is we're going to hide this email and the button so let me click on this message okay let me go to the visibility section so let me set the visibility as gone for the both button and the message okay that way we can make this button and the message visible only when the email is not verified. So inside this, now we'll make the email button visible. So set visibility and we'll make visible. And similarly for the message, we will set the visibility, make it visible, okay? So this and whenever the verify button is clicked, we are going to send the verification email to the user. Okay. So to do that, let, let's create the on click listener on this verify email button. So set on click listener, new on click listener. Now we'll send the verification email. Okay. So to send the verification email, we need to use the auth that is instance of Firebase authentication. We will get the current logged in user and we will send the email verification and we will add on success listener. Okay. New on success listener. And here we will uh, say the, uh, we will uh, display the message saying that verification email is sent. sent and what we'll do is we'll hide this uh, we'll hide this verify email button and verify message okay so come here and make it gone okay so every time when user logged into the application it's going to check if the email is verified or not if not it's going to give the option to verify the email and it will send the verification so let's go ahead and see in this let's go ahead and see this in action okay so we'll run this okay now you can see since we have not verified our email address it is uh, displaying this to me now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the verify now button and it should uh, send the verification email to my email address and it also displays that uh, a little message there and it it hides the message and the button okay so that's what we wanted now let's go to my email or let's open up my gmail and check if the verification email is received or not so let's go here 
now here you can see we have received this uh, verification link for our email but sometimes it may uh, you know so sometimes google mark it as spam so if you don't see this email here you need to go to social or promotion and if you don't see in anywhere that message then go to your spam section okay sometimes it put that message directly into the spam just make sure to check the spam folder as well okay so i'm gonna open up this now and this is the verification email link that we need to click to verify this address so click on this now it's going to say that email has been verified okay now here we can come back I'm, I'm gonna log out again now i'm gonna log in academy small seven at the red gmail.com is the email and now i'm gonna give the password one two three four five six and click on login and now we don't have that message at all okay so that that's how we verify the email address and in the coming lecture we will implement the password reset and password reset options we'll also uh, implement how to change the email address and everything so i will see you in the coming lecture